Hello, my name is Warren Sneed and I play tenor saxophone with the Houston Jazz Orchestra. I'm going to play for you right now saxophone A2 number one. So let's take a look at the etude. Uh, first of all, uh, it's based on the great standard I'll Remember April, and I strongly suggest that you go check out some recordings of this. You can go to YouTube and put in a search, and probably at the very top will be Clifford Brown recording of the tune, and uh, the great tenor saxophone of Sonny Rollins is on that recording, and uh, man, you know, it's beautiful. You need to check that out. Um, probably you'll find a Dexter Gordon version, Stan, uh, Stan Getz, um, Sonny Stitt. The list goes on and on. But make sure you check that out. Um, you know, so uh, I think it's important to go beyond just the notes on the page. And first of all, you'll get to hear some great different tenor tones that you might want to go for. Uh, and it just gives you a deeper understanding of the tune. So make sure you do that. Uh, in looking at this and practicing it, uh, first of all, it is pretty quick. So, uh, you know, I suggest you start early on this and, and start slow and very gradually move it up. Um, as, you, as you are working on it, um, definitely uh, make sure you're stressing certain rhythms, uh, like on the uh, first measure in the four. Boo da da ba 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 dee da, right? Boo da da ba. Um, also, measure for the end of four, which is tied to the downbeat of, of uh, measure five. Um, also, uh, in measure seven on the downbeat of, th uh, downbeat of three. So, um, certain spots you'll see like uh, down uh, at the downbeat of uh, I'm sorry pick us to the downbeat of nine you have ba da da okay uh, you have that D on the end of four in measure eight which is tied to the downbeat of nine and um, I I played that long so uh, you know you might choose to do differently but to me it sounds like it should be long right there um, Let's see. Oh, I wanted to uh, also compliment uh, the composer of this piece. I think this has a lot of great language, and it's definitely worth a lot of study. Um, so, uh, and one of the coolest places harmonically, in my humble opinion, is the 2-5 lick. Uh, it measures 13, 14, and 15. It's very nice. Um, lots of great information here, so uh, lots of great language. Um, in measure 20, um, we have a fingering issue. So starting in measure, let's see if I'm getting this correct, measure, um, um, I believe it's uh, 19 on the end of four. Okay, when I, I play a Bisbee flat on the downbeat of three, and for the C, I'm using the side C fingering, so keep the biz down, play that. That's just me. You may choose to do it differently, but that's how I'm doing it. Uh, I suppose they're a little bit different, but when you're playing it as fast as this goes, you're not going to be able to hear a difference. So uh, to me, that's an easier way to finger that. Um, let's see. Um, Measure 23 on the end of uh, end of two. Uh, I noticed when I was playing this piece, uh, 
that I pretty much played the rhythms exactly as as uh, uh, written, you know, pretty conservative. Uh, you definitely, like there's a fine line, uh, you know, you want to be able to express yourself, but you also have to play what's on the page. Well, anyway, at that point, uh, I did, I think, if I remember correctly, in the recording, I did a little scoop. Something like that, okay? So it's okay to do that, you know? So you don't have a lot of time, but um, um, I just chose to do it that way. I, I noticed, actually, when I was practicing before there, and I did take a couple of other takes before I landed... Um, ended up with the one that, that you're seeing or saw. Um, I think I played that straight. So, but I think it's okay to play that um, with a little scoop there. And there may be some other places that, that are kind of long when you choose to do that. Uh, now, let's see. At the at measure 25 pickups to there, uh, I think I may have played it long. Okay, but um, you know, I don't know. In practice, practicing this, I wanted to play boo doo da ba da ba da. You know, maybe not boo doo da, not not real short. But I actually kind of put some space between the end of four and the upbeat of one. Uh, you know, you take your chances. Uh, it's that's not exactly what's there, but you know, I again, you know, I think it's okay to take some little liberties as long as you're pretty much staying true to the music. Uh, one of the uh, hardest, uh, perhaps most difficult parts is just uh, taking enough air to get to the end of the chart. Um, and I really had to make sure that in measure 24 I took a big breath. You really have to tank it up there. Um, You'll have another opportunity uh, in measure 627, measure 27 on beat four, uh, but then you got to pretty much like go the rest of the way, you know, get that line, and you're going up to those high notes. So make sure that you take enough air in to make the phrase. And you know, always if you don't have enough air, you're not going to think right, and it's hard for if you can't think right, it's hard to execute the notes correctly. So make sure you take a big breath there in measure 24. Um, and I think probably you could, uh, like if you do run out of air, like you have beat three on the next to last measure, you could take a quick breath. So uh, to me, that, that was one of the, uh, that's one of the challenges of paying, playing this A2. So anyway, I hope that helps. Again, record yourself a lot. Um, uh, practice with a metronome, practice without the metronome, um, and and um, but mainly with the re re uh, metronome. Um, but in particular, when you record yourself, try doing it without the metronome and listen to yourself um, very critically. You know, is your time good? Um, do you sound like a jazz player? Or do you sound like a? That goes back to tone and, and other things, but. You know, you want to make sure you have a really good tone. Uh, you're playing with good articulation. <clears throat> Your time is solid. I would also suggest that uh, if this is a little fast for you to play it at the suggested tempo 220, well, take it down a little bit. You know, play it as fast as you can play it comfortably.